a ball is selected at random from urn 1 and transferred to urn 2. Then a ball is selected at random from urn 2. Find the probability that the ball selected from urn 2 is black. So we're trying to determine that probability. The events are already defined. W sub i is a white ball is selected on draw i. i equals 1, 2. B sub i is a black ball selected on draw i. i equals 1, 2. The question that's being asked here is what is the probability that a black ball is selected on draw 2? Using the rule of elimination, which is also known as the law of total probability, this is the probability of B2, probability of a black ball on the second draw, given a white ball on the first draw, times the probability of a white ball on the first draw, plus the probability of a black ball on the second draw, given a white ball got that wrong, given a black ball on the first draw times the probability of a black ball on the first draw. So we have four different probabilities to determine here and let's start with this one. What's the probability of a white on the first draw? pretty straightforward. That's going to be three-fifths. And we can go over here and do these. These two are the easiest. What's the probability of a black ball on the first draw? That's two-fifths. Now coming back over to here, what is the probability of a black ball on the second draw given a white ball was transferred on the first? So if we take a white ball and transfer it over here, we now have five balls in the urn, three of them are black, so three-fifths is that probability. And finally, the last one to calculate is the probability we have a black ball on the second, given we have a black ball on the first. In this case, a black ball gets transferred over. Four out of the five of them are black, so four-fifths is this probability. When you work out the arithmetic, this is 17 over 25, which is 0.68. So that's actually a fairly likely event to occur. Now, if for some reason you are nervous about this answer of 0.68, it is possible to run a Monte Carlo simulation to check it. And here's what the Monte Carlo simulation looks like. You start out by setting the variable n rep to the number of replications, and we will replicate this 100 thousand times. We set a variable count to be zero. It's initialized to zero. It will eventually be the number of times that we pull a black ball out on that second draw from the second urn. Then we do a uh, loop here for i and 1 to 100,000 and at the beginning and we have a, a curly brace here. Everything in here will be inside of that for loop. First of all, we put three, three white balls in the first urn. We put two black balls in the first urn. We put two, one white ball in the second urn and three black balls in the second urn. And now what we want to do is we want to do our draws. So the way we do that is we say if our unif one and our unif one represents a uniform 0, 1. If that uniform 0, 1 is less than 2 fifths, if the random number is less than 2 fifths, well that's the probability of drawing a black ball from the first urn. So if that is the case, then we want to increase the number of black balls in the second urn by 1. Now we could go back and decrease the number of black balls in the first urn by 1, but it turns out you don't need to do that and so we'll just do this only. If that is not true, then it turns out we have pulled a white ball out of the first urn and in that case we want to increase the number of white balls in the second urn by one. 
That takes care of the first draw out of earn one. Now we're going to put in the draw from earn two. Where did that come from? So we take another random number, which is equally likely to be between 0 and 1, and we want to say if that is less than the ratio of black balls to white balls plus black balls in that second urn, whatever that ratio is, then what we want to do is that says we have pulled out a black ball out of the second urn and we want to increase our count by one. That ends the loop. We do that a hundred thousand times and at the very end we print out count divided by n rep and that is an estimate for the probability of getting a black ball on the uh, second draw out of the second urn. If you run this simulation several times, you will find that those numbers will kind of hover around the analytic value, which was 0.68.